This inauguration is historic and it's unprecedented. We'd normally be seeing hundreds of thousands of people in our nation's capital, but not this year. The inauguration is set against the backdrop of the coronavirus pandemic and threats of violence. Security is tight. Roads are closed. More than 20,000 troops are on the ground, including more than 100 from the state of Maine. News Center Maine's Rosalind Flaherty spoke to a guardsman from Portland about being part of this historic moment. More than 175 Maine National Guard soldiers are in Washington, D.C. for inauguration security. One of those soldiers is Captain Jonathan Bratton. The overall goal, you know, of course, is to uh, is to ensure the, the peaceful transition of, of authority here in the U.S. and uh, the standards of our democracy. Captain Bratton says Maine soldiers will be providing support to the Capitol Police and D.C. authorities, along with thousands of other troops from across the country. We've got so many different people here, and believe me, I've been you know, deployed to overseas before. I've been in all sorts of operations um, here at home, training exercises and things like that. And uh, I've never seen the levels of understanding, cooperation. Captain Bratton says he has been to the nation's capital before, but says this will be his first time at an inauguration. He says while it is fascinating to be there, he says it looks like a different place. It, it's very different. Um, and I think at first, at first look, it's rather jarring until you begin to realize uh, that... Uh, you know, these are these are 20,000 people here who have come from across the nation to stand for, you know, the Constitution. Something he says is an honor. The, the feeling that everyone has that, hey, we're here to help each other. We're all Americans uh, and we're really proud to, to be part of this mission. He says troops did some training prior to leaving Maine and have done more in D.C. Any time that we have sort of um, off or, or when we're not on shift, uh, we try to use to uh, to our advantage and uh, to train as much as possible. He says his soldiers are proud to be representing Maine during an important time in history. Rosalind Flaherty, New Center, Maine. And it is unclear at this point how long the Maine National Guard will be in D.C. In 2017, all of Maine's congressional delegates and then Governor Paul LePage attended the inauguration of President Donald Trump. That will not be the case for the inauguration of President Joe Biden tomorrow. Senator Susan Collins will be attending the event in person. However, Senator Angus King, Congresswoman Shelley Pingree and Governor Janet Mills say they will all be watching the inauguration on television. Congressman Jared Golden declined to comment.